It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brewdog and it's a can of their Native Sun West Coast Double IPA coming in at 8.5% ABV. Nice can. Uh, Brewdog were kind enough to send me six cans of this beer. It arrived today. Um, I've left it on the back wall where it's chilled a bit. Without further ado, let's get this brand new beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass then. I'm using a, a, a Brewdog glass. So we got a slightly hazy golden amber coloured ale, good levels of carbonation floating up to the top of the glass, one finger white head. Let's get the aroma. It's a bit, it's a bit tutti fruity. Remember them old sweets, the tutti fruity sweets? It, it's got a nice, quite a nice nose on it. There's a level of sweetness in there. I've got a funny feeling that the, the bitterness is kind of locked away in this, in this beer. You can almost smell it in the aroma. And that's a good sign, almost smelling that bitterness. But there's a slight grape orange peel. Maybe a bit maybe a bit pepperminty. There's like a pepperminty aroma in there. Mixed with fruit, of course. It's not just a, a dominant pepperminty flavor aroma. It, it, it's mixed with a lot of kind of orange and lemon and grapefruit. I think it's, it's time to get in. Let's, let's dive into this beer then. Cheers. <clears throat> I'm going to go again. Uh, I, I'm, uh, I, I want to, I want to get in again. Sorry. Sorry guys. I want one more taste. One more taste. So let's, let's talk to you and tell you exactly what I'm getting right now. Uh, I'm getting... A big, big kind of like a, 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 an astringent bitterness, massive, massive bitterness, but it's astringent. It doesn't somehow seem connected with, and this is just me standing here in front of a camera. It's just me trying to be as honest as I possibly can. Um, it, it, it doesn't, it's not screaming grapefruit at me it's not it's not screaming orange peel and 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 fleshy blood orange and and it it seems like the bitterness is still there now it's still 
lingering on the back of the palette now and it, it it's just keep going nicely carbonated nice biscuit malt Did, 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 a touch of, 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 of mango, a, a touch of citrus, a, a touch of grapefruit, and then it's this kind of raw bitterness. But it, 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 it somehow, it somehow seems really disconnected from, from. I'm really struggling, I'm really struggling because it was only a week ago and um, I, I promise you guys I've just been sent six cans by, by Brewdog. I'm not under any kind of embargo or I'm not under any, this is still me in my kitchen. Um, I'm struggling for words big time for this beer um, because when the beers arrived I put a message out there on Facebook and uh, I, 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 I put it on Instagram and, stuff, and I had such... I had some good feedback. I had some good people messaging me privately on Facebook saying this beer was so much better than the beer that, that you you reviewed last week, the Indie Pale Ale. And it, 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 it makes that beer that, that wasn't great at all, or it, it makes it go away. It, it, it kind of, they've improved and they've got much better with this beer. And, and I had a conversation with with a, a nice young lady at Brewdog uh, earlier this week and, and at the back end of last week and she was so excited for this beer and she was so much looking forward to it and she really wanted me to try it so she sent me six cans and I just I just can't see the, for some reason, I know the reason, I'll get to the reason in a moment. They just, they, they brewed up now, have, have become such a size that they can't keep up with the nimble players. They can't keep up with your Vedance. They, they can't keep up with your Magic Rocks. They can't keep up with your Cloud Waters. And, and certainly they can't keep up with your Beaver Towns. And for me, that is such a shame. It's such a shame. And although I did face some criticism for the review. If you're watching this in years to come, then then check out my Brewdog Indie Pale Ale review before you kind of, well maybe watch it after this or before this or, or go back and forth. I'll put a link in the description box for that video. Um, but they, they, they're just not nimble enough anymore. They, they, they're not nimble enough to keep up with the smaller play, players. And although, as I mentioned, I was really harsh and I did face, I faced a lot of positive comments. I faced an, I faced an awful lot of positive comments. Uh, there was a fraction that, that didn't kind of agree with what I was saying and they, they thought I was being too harsh on Brewdog. But it was just me as a beer lover who, somebody who, who, who once absolutely adored their beer, absolutely adored their beer, to the point where I adored their beer, I adored Brewdog's beer that much years ago that I even went out, I'd buy their merch, I'd buy the dog collar, I'd buy the, I'd buy the dog collar, I'd buy a hat, I'd buy, here we go, hold on, it's, it's all dusty now, I don't use it, I'd buy a growler, I would buy another growler where, hold on, let me get the growler. Knocking things everywhere. I, I would buy their growlers, I would buy their dog's leads, uh, dog collar, should I say. Uh, and I would eat their burgers. I would eat, I would eat their burgers. The, 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 I don't, I think it's just a matter of size now. 
I said what I said last week uh, regarding BrewDog and I think this is a better way, this is a much better way of explaining that I was a massive fan, I was a massive fan of this company. I, I, I look, look at me, I've, I've got the merch. I bought this with my own money. This wasn't sent to me by BrewDog. This is, this was bought to me by my wife for my birthday and this was probably bought for me the year after. And I got a tiny dog, he's like a chihuahua type thing and this is too big for him. So this is just been gathering dust over there. Um, and what I'm getting at here, and I've been thinking, when the beers arrived this afternoon, I thought to myself, I am going to do a video today regarding this, this, this beer. I've heard good things. I hope the beer is great. And I was hoping the beer was great. But for me, the beer is still not great. It, the beer is still not a great beer. And I've been thinking about last week's video, and the standard for me, when I first started reviewing beer in 2010, um, I got hold of a bottle of BrewDog's Punk IPA when they were a tiny little brewery and, and they were doing stuff with the dance and Magic Rock and, and, and Cloudwater. They were, they were the first, they were the first people to do all of this, this fantastic stuff. And they set the bar up here, up here, yeah, let me, let me, let me get back. Right the way up here, the bar was set and, and nobody could get over that bar. BrewDog were head and shoulders above anything else that was out there when I first started reviewing beer in 2010. And I suppose what happened over time, and especially with the indie, indie pale ale, is that the bar ended up becoming so low. Brewdog's problem is the fact that the bar was set so high. The bar was set so, so high that it created their own problem. Brewdog are the creators of their own problem. The fact that the beer was once brilliant, absolutely brilliant, and the bar is up here, and now now the bar is is almost it's almost like a a, a a a picket fence where you can just put your leg over. You do not need to do some kind of high jump anymore to get to get over the bar, and. I'm as sorry as, 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 as everybody else who, who are very passionate in the comments box, who agree, who don't agree. I'm as passionate as you guys because, because I've seen this company grow and grow and they become fantastic and they're Juicy Lucy Burger. I even made a video about the Juicy Lucy Burger. I was lucky to do it. I think I did it about a week before they discontinued that burger. But that for me was the very height of where they were, probably three or three, whenever they discontinued Juicy Lucy Burger, that was for me the height of BrewDog. You could go into their bar, my local bar is the one in Cardiff, I live seven miles away from the place. It was, it, it was Juicy Lucy Burger and a pint of fantastic, fantastic premium quality craft beer punk IPA. And it went so well. And me and my wife, we 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 had our kids going to school we struggled with babysitters that's another story so we would have day dates and the day dates were every thursday into brewdog we'd have a juicy lucy burger and a punk ipa then we come back on the train and pick the kids up with a bag full of beer and she'd have a bag full of lush products and 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 that was our kind of our friday night our saturday night so without fail we did that every week and and then it was all discontinued and then, and then since then, the beer quality has gone from being um, top quality. Again, BrewDog, they created their own problem because the quality was so high. So, so high. Now it's, it's, it's just kind of just fallen away because of the, it's because of the growth of the company. It's because of the size of the company. It, don't get me wrong, this, 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 in terms of quality, they put, I'm not going to say, it would be wrong of me to say they put more effort into this beer. Um, they, they're bound to have put effort into Indie Pale Ale. Something just went completely wrong with that beer. Um, something just happened to that beer. They, they forgot to hop it or, or um, 
I don't know, but let's wrap this 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 particular review up, and um, let's try and reflect then on 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 what's going to happen in the future. There's some biscuit malt. There's some, there's, there's, there's like a, a slight orangey flavour. Um, it's, it's a bit chemically, it, it's just a bit, I, I, I don't get it. I, I just don't get what I, 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 I don't get what I have in my hand. I just don't get it. I just. It's just a really on top, all out bitterness assault, really without the flavour to back it up. It, it just really doesn't have. I'm struggling for the grapefruits, I'm struggling for the orange peel, I'm struggling for the lemon, I'm struggling for all of those beautiful perfumey aromas that you, that you will get from a cloud water or a Vedant or a Beaver Town or a. Magic Rock, it's, it's just, it's just not there with Brewdog anymore, and it's such a shame. It's just, it's become big beer. It's become big beer. Um, I'm gonna rate it, then I gotta finish in, I gotta finish in message um, because I don't hate, I don't, I don't hate the company. I, I'm not. I hope the people who were negative last time around, I hope I've given them a better explanation of myself this time around. I hope you can understand where I'm coming from a bit more. Um, for me, this beer for a, for a West Coast uh, double IPA, it, it, it's, it's a five, it's a five out of 10. It, it's a five out of 10 for me. It, it just, it doesn't hold a candle to, I'll say it one more time because I feel like I'm repeating myself too much now. Your Vedance, your, your Cloud Waters, your Magic Rocks. It doesn't hold a candle to that, to their double IPAs and, and, and their, their, their beers. They're, they're so much more floral, so much more flavoursome. But I want to I want to finish with this closing message in that I don't have anything personal against Brewdog. I don't, I am not making this video, I am not being overly critical because I'm looking for views. Um, I've been such a massive supporter of, of, of the company in the past and I suppose, I suppose this is just me standing here wondering where this all gone wrong and what are you going to do in the future? What, what, what's going to be of Brewdog in a few years' time? What's, what's going to be left? Is the, is the scary thing? So five out of ten for me. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, and cheers.